All right. Here's how I want you to practice all of the musical examples for this lesson. Um, each example, there are 15, are only one measure long. And, uh, and that's it, one measure of 4-4. Four, four. So it's only four beats. But I don't want you to just sit there and play four beats and then move on to the next one. I want this to be a very repetitive practice because the, one of the best ways for me to build up picking technique is to do something that's very repetitive that you can do over and over and over and over and over again to develop it. So what I want to talk about right now is the way you should practice all 15 of the examples here. And there are a few things that you can do that are pretty cool. Uh, I'm just going to take number one, which is a triplet using fingering number one. It's just going to go like this. And that's all it is. That's all the example is. But the beautiful thing about it is that you can take that and play it for as long as you want. And uh, when you practice these, if you're kind of on a tight schedule, there are only 15. So uh, one of the things that you can do is you can take each one of these little fragments and you can practice it for a minute straight without stopping. You know, just constantly alternate picking. And then as soon as a minute's up, move on to the next one, and then the next one, then the next one. And then after 15 minutes, you'll have been picking, you know, a lot in 15 minutes and uh, you'll uh, make a lot of progress. So anyway, I'm going to turn on my metronome and uh, we're going to look at fingering number one. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is you want to set your metronome at a comfortable tempo. Uh, you may start it off at 60 or 80 depending on what your ability level already is, but you want to make sure that you can get the rhythm that's written clean with the metronome or steady with the metronome. So if I'm playing triplets to this beat, which is 80 beats per minute, it would be this. And that's it. I just played the example four times at 80 beats per minute. So that's the first thing that I'd like you to do. Make sure when you play these that you don't uh, that you don't make mistakes with the rhythm. Make sure the rhythm is very clear. And also be sure that your left and right hand are synchronized. Make sure you're picking at the exact same instant that your left hand finger is fretting the note. You don't want it to sound like this. You want it to sound like this. Okay, so now one of the things that I like to do whenever I'm playing really at any tempo, you know, say I'm playing, you know, triplets at 80, I like to do speed bursts. It's kind of like that, you know, jogging to sprinting to jogging. Thing. You know, maybe I'll do four beats or a full measure of triplets and then two or four beats of double that or 16th note triplets. So you're going from three notes per beat to six notes per beat and then back. So you may go something like this. <laughs> that. So you're kind of like training yourself to play faster, but you don't have to sustain that tempo for a long time. You can play a little bit, you know, and a little bit faster and a little bit faster. And uh, you can sort of build yourself up that way so that eventually 
and you build up the stamina to play faster for longer periods of time. So, and you can do that with any of these. You know, if you're doing the first one. Practice that one for maybe a minute, maybe five minutes, if you want to. Then we'll move on to the second example. Then the third. Now, as you're practicing these, um, once again, like I said before, make sure the rhythm is very clear, you know, and you can get it, you know, right on with your metronome every time that you do it. Uh, one other thing that may help you <clears throat> to sync up your picking with your metronome is if you accent the first beat of each measure, you know, or accent the first note of... Uh, of each example, meaning you just pick it a little bit harder than, than the rest of them. And you can usually do that by just gripping your pick a little bit tighter, you know, for that first note, you know, if you're going. You can kind of hear it, you know, and that'll make your picking even more accurate. All right, examples 10 through 15 are all 16th note rhythms. Now, you can break those up a couple of different ways. If you want to practice those at a slower speed, you still can keep your metronome at the same pace, but you can start off practicing them as eighth notes, doing two notes per beat, and then doing 16th notes as the sped up version. So you could go one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a kind of like this. Here's number ten, or actually, here's number thirteen. If you're doing 16th notes as sort of the slow or the jogging tempo and you want to do faster than that, then you just double it up and do 32nd notes, kind of like this. So that's a good way to sort of build up to the 16th note rhythms, all right? 